A couple days later, Mary Magdalene went to the grave together with two other women. They wanted to anoint Jesus' body with oil, which was the custom. On the way there, they worried about how they would remove the huge stone and if the soldiers would even let them through. But when they got there, the stone was already rolled away and the soldiers were gone. They went into the tomb and all they found there were the cloths that Jesus' body had been wrapped in. Then a messenger from God, an angel, appeared to them. He said, don't be afraid. Jesus isn't here anymore. He's alive. The women were overjoyed and went to tell the other followers of Jesus about what had happened. The others couldn't believe it at first. Peter got up and ran to the grave to see for himself. He found the tomb empty, just like the women had described it. Deep in thought, he went away, puzzled about what might have happened to Jesus' body. A while later, some of the disciples were meeting together. Some of them had already seen Jesus alive again after his death and had told the others about it, full of joy. At that very moment, Jesus appeared in the room and greeted them all. Then they ate together and were overjoyed to have Jesus with them again. After coming back from the dead, Jesus spent 40 days together with his friends, who he called disciples. One day, he gathered them all together on a hill. The time had come for him to leave. He had one last thing to tell them. To me has been given all the power and authority in heaven and on earth. Therefore, I am sending you out to all the nations of the world. Make them my disciples too. Baptize them in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit as a sign that they belong to me and teach them everything that you learned from me. You can be 100% sure that I will be with you always, no matter where you are, until the end of time.